Hello and welcome to another edition of Kiadini's Kitchen, video game recipes made real. Now this week's recipe isn't actually a foodstuff at all. For the first time, we're making a drink. Let's make grog from the secret of Monkey Island. Now, in The Secret of Monkey Island, Guybrush Threepwood talks to three important looking pirates who are enjoying a nice refreshing drink of grog. Now, according to the game itself, grog is a secret mixture that contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, Battery acid and or pepperoni. Now, in case you haven't already twigged, that's a bit of a problem because most of those ingredients would kill you if you drank them, and one of them is a video game. So we're going to play it safe and use red food dye, pepperoni, artificial sweeteners, and of course, rum. This won't be disgusting at all. So step one, cut up a whole bunch of pepperoni. So a pirate walks into a bar with a ship's wheel attached to the front of his trousers. Barman says, doesn't that get a bit irritating? Pirate says, aye, it's driving me nuts. Why are pirates so cool? They just are. What is a pirate's favorite letter? If you said R, you're wrong. They're fond of R, but truly their heart is in the sea. All right, so with our pepperoni all cut up, it's time to turn our attention to the rum. I have a suitably piratical bottle here, and I'm just gonna pour some of this out to make room for the pepperoni, and then we're gonna fill it back up after that. Get the artificial sweeteners. All right, let's top this back up. Okay, so there is a bottle of rum with a bunch of pepperoni and artificial sweeteners in there and already there are some weird kind of fatty chunks floating toward the top, which is a little bit worrying, but you know, uh, I'm gonna leave this for a couple of days now so the flavors can really incorporate. I'm not gonna add the red food dye yet because I kinda wanna see what color this goes with just the pepperoni and the artificial sweeteners in there. Uh, but yeah, like I say, we'll give this a couple of days to um, mature, and then we'll see how it tastes. Now, of course, if you've seen Chiadini's Kitchen before, you'll know I like to see how the recipes have turned out by trying them in my kitchen, and then describing how they taste. Well, I'm not gonna do that with this one, because pirates shouldn't drink alone. Which is why I've come to the Brighton office. It's two days later, and to be honest, I really regret doing this. I don't know if you can see, but there is a film of orange fat globules that have kind of bled out of the pepperoni and gathered around the top of the bottle. And to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna to struggle to get anybody to drink this. Uh, but it is time for us to add the red food dye. Hopefully that will mask how gross this looks. Well, <laughs> that is so weird. It smells like a really sweet rum, but there's the unmistakable tang of meat underneath. But hey ho. I don't know how much of this to put in, so let's just give it a little... Oop, oop, that's probably too much. That was loads. Uh, but hey-ho. Let's get the lid back on. Let's get this... Ooh, I mean, it's colourful. I'm going to say that for it. It needs to reincorporate. Hey! That looks... different. If not better. Um... Yeah, that, for better or worse, let's face it, worse, is the secret of Monkey Island Grog. The question is, can I get anyone to drink this? 
and will they find it tasty? There's that meat fat I mentioned, by the way, which is just vile. Uh, it doesn't help. Everyone needs a mug. That yeah. One's, that one's obviously Love yours. Mug. Turn it round. I don't know what's on that. What? I've got one back here. What's yours? It's just one from the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. Make some room, because here it comes. It's not a special XCOM mug, is it? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is vibrant. This is <laughs> the secret of Monkey Island Grog. Um, so Does this contain anything that's going to kill us? No. First impressions are, it does look a little bit bitty. Yeah, it is a bit oh. bitty. I'm going to take oh, the first oh. sort of pour. Oh, God. There. So, um, There's mm. meat in that. There smell? is. There's oh. meat in that. There's meat. Yeah, Look so the, the secret of, of Monkey it. Island Grog. Have you put cat food in that? No, 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 that's pepperoni. I've removed oh, all of the ingredients. Oh, because that's much better. I've removed all of the ingredients that will definitely kill you, and this is just rum, Dumb. colorings, artificial sweeteners, and I, oh, pepperoni. Sorry. Pour like, some for yourself first. <laughs> I already have. <laughs> uh, it is a bit bitty. I'm sorry. Oh, stop saying bitty. Is that enough? It's more than enough. Oh. More than enough. There you go, pal. Oh, it's leaving, a, it's yeah, leaving residue. A, yeah, residue. Absolutely I did want to say in advance, I'm really grateful to you for uh, for doing this. Oh, really. oh God. You can smell the meat. Meat. It's, it's sort of a, I... a meaty rum. <laughs> All right, well. I swear to God, Johnny, if I threw up. There might actually be some vomiting involved in this. All right. That's all right. <laughs> That's actually all right. It's, it's sort of a meaty rum. A meaty rum, which isn't actually as bad as it. Stop lying through your teeth. That's actually, disgusting. No, that, is, that is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's all right. What are you talking about? Oh, it's it's just some. It's oh. so salty. Yeah, I see. It's so salty. It's like drinking it's... the sea. <laughs> you know when. Mm. Oh, my mouth is flooding oh. with saliva because my brain thinks I'm about to be sick. The second sip wasn't quite as Nobody good, Nobody has it? to have any more. That's... There's bits of fat floating around in this. Uh. There's literally bits of oil and fat just coming to the surface of this bright red liquid. This is the worst one I've done. This is definitely the worst one I've done. You know when you do a shot and then you eat some chorizo? No way, that's never <laughs> happened. That is exactly what it's like though. Yeah. I can't believe you're still going on this. What's wrong with you? Doing? I mean, it's interesting. It's not like I. Oh uh, no! If I just... have any more of that, I'll be sick. Even looking yeah, at it. Yeah, I makes can't me feel even smell Ill. that. That is disgusting. Ah uh, well. Now we know why all the pirates were so cranky in that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Jesus yes. Christ! I mean, as I said, it was one of the most caustic substances <laughs> known to man. So. Um... And that was without the rat poison or whatever else they put in it. Yeah, yeah. Make a you, sweet roll. You owe us something serious. I know, I know. I'm Make really... something nice next time. All right, I will. <laughs> Fine. Well, thank you so much, especially to you two, oh, for joining me on this episode of it. Kid in His Kitchen. It's so grim. I'm going to put the lid back in the fucking oh. bottle and then I'm going to throw it in the seat. Look at, <laughs> looking at it, it's making me feel ill. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Kidney's oh. Kitchen. Do keep those recipe suggestions coming in, but stop suggesting disgusting things. Bad ones, we want nice Jesus ones. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There are plenty more from Eurogamer surrounding us now. We're going to have to go now because I think oh Ethan, ne <laughs> Ethan really needs some medical attention and or counselling. So, bye! <laughs>